Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Charles Luanga and his companion martyrs of Africa. We thank the Lord for the gift of his grace and of his love so that we could endure every trial, every suffering that we may be experiencing. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Luanga and his companions may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Tobit. When the angel Raphael and Tobiah had entered Medea and were getting close to Ecbatana, Raphael said to the boy, Tobiah, my brother. He replied, Here I am. He said, Tonight we must stay with Raguel, who is a relative of yours. He has a daughter named Sarah. So he brought him to the house of Raguel, whom they found seated by his courtyard gate. They greeted him first. He said to them, Greetings to you too, brothers. Good health to you and welcome. And he brought them into his home. Raguel slaughtered a ram from the plat and gave them a cordial reception. When they had bathed and reclined to eat, Tobiah said to Raphael, Brother Azariah, ask Raguel to let me marry my kinswoman Sarah. Raguel overheard the words, so he said to the boy, Eat and drink and be merry tonight, for no man is entitled to marry my daughter Sarah than you, brother. Besides, not even I have the right to give her to anyone but you, because you are my closest relative. But I will explain the situation to you very frankly. I have given her in marriage to seven men, all of whom were kinsmen of ours, and all died on the very night they approached her. But now, son, eat and drink. I am sure the Lord will look after you both. Tobiah answered, I will eat or drink nothing until you set aside what belongs to me. Raguel said to him, I will do it. She is yours according to the decree of the book of Moses. Your marriage to her has been decided in heaven. Take your kinswoman. From now on, you are her love, and she is your beloved. She is yours today and ever after. And tonight, son, may the Lord of heaven prosper you both. May he grant you mercy and peace. Then Raguel called his daughter Sarah, and she came to him. He took her by the hand and gave her to Baya with the words, Take her according to the law, according to the decree written in the book of Moses. She is your wife. Take her and bring her back safely to your father. And may the God of heaven grant both of you peace and prosperity. Raguel then called Sarah's mother and told her to bring a scroll so that he might draw up a marriage contract stating that he gave Sarah to Tobiah as his wife according to the decree of the Mosaic law. Her mother brought the scroll and Raguel drew up the contract to which they affixed their seals. Afterward, they began to eat and drink. Later, Raguel called his wife Edna and said, My love, prepare the other bedroom and bring the girl there. She went and made the bed in the room as she was told and brought the girl there. After she had cried over her, she wiped away the tears and said, Be brave, my daughter. May the Lord grant you in place of your grief. Courage, my daughter. Then she left. 
When the girl's parents left the bedroom and closed the door behind them, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, My love, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. She got up and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs, and they began to say, Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praised be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from this too, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen and went to bed for the night. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
why did Jesus teach us about these two commandments, the two greatest commandments? And if you will notice, first he put to love God with all your heart. And then the second is to love your neighbor. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is teaching us that the first of all commandments, to love God, that is the first thing that we need to do. And from that, all graces will flow. If we know how to love God, then we can do all things because of God's love and because of God's grace. Kaya niya nilagay yun sa una. Una muna nating gawin, mahalin ang Panginoon. At kapag mahal mo ang Panginoon, kaya mo na ring mahalin ang kapwa. Kaya mong gawin ang lahat kapag inuna mo palagi, papurihan at mahalin ang Panginoon. So, in our gospel today, Jesus is not just teaching us about commandments. He is teaching us how we are to live. And every day, begin by loving God. And then, you are already able to do many things. In our first reading today, we hear this interesting story about Tobiah, the son of Tobit, and his wife, Sarah. They were married. And what did they do on the first night of their wedding? What was the first thing that they, uh, that they did? They prayed together as husband and wife. How many of husbands and wives still pray today together? Do you still begin your day by praying together? Because the importance of praying together tells us that they follow the commandment of Jesus to love God first. And when you are able to love God, you are able to love one another as husband and wife. And it's good to bring this practice even in your homes before you sleep together in your room instead of just remembering to say good night and I love you to each other pray together and by loving God you will be able to love each other more today my dear brothers and sisters is the feast day of Saint Charles Luanga and his companion martyrs they were able to face suffering, persecution, even martyrdom because they loved God first. And when you first love God, you are able to face any challenges, even martyrdom, even the face of suffering. You can face it head on because you follow the commandment of God. To love God first and you will be able to do everything my dear brothers and sisters I know that uh, of course there are uh, those who are celebrating with us here physically in this mass but there are many more thousands who are watching us online thank you for celebrating this mass with us Thank you for beginning your day with God because this is the teaching of Jesus. If we love God first, if we begin our day telling God, I love you, telling God how much we love Him, then He will equip
equip us and grant us the grace to do everything this whole day. Thank you for celebrating this Mass because by praying with us in this Mass, we are able to follow the commandment of Jesus to love God with all our heart, with all our understanding, with all our strength. Amen. Please stand. Let our prayers today show that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, our soul, mind, and strength. Let our prayers also show that we love our neighbors as we respect and reverence ourselves. For every petition, let us say, Lord, fill us with your love. Lord, fill us with your love, that the Church may never cease to proclaim love of God and neighbor as the heart of the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your love, that we may never forget to show compassion to those who are underprivileged, unwanted, and unloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your love, that we may treat every person with kindness and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your love. By the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your love that Christ may bring us his eternal kingdom, our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord fill, fill us, us with, with your love. love. Heavenly Father, make us worthy of your call. Give us the grace to live out this commandment of love in word and deed. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god 
For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. stand the mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trials steadfast in faith and in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
500 years of faith, grateful today. We bear the gift of mission, totally yours we give ourselves, faithfully yours until the end, to your mission, Lord, we give our yes.